everyone and welcome to the Crows Show brought to you by Farmers Union Ice Coffee. The run into the finals leaves us with just two minor round games to play here at Adelaide Oval against Brisbane and West Coast. Where has the season gone? Coming up in today's program, a new crowd favourite is emerging at the Crows. Meet Charlie Cameron. I think we have a couple more games to go. Um, hopefully we can make finals. We're gonna, I think we're going to earn it. Players tell us the best game they've ever played in. I'd say the best game, even though we lost, was the 2012 prelim against Hawthorne. Just a uh, fantastic atmosphere. Boys played sensationally well. And... We're the pride of South Australia. He's paid for it out of his own pocket. <laughs> the story behind the song. Now, Crows fans know this as Eddie Betts' pocket. Who could forget some of his freakish snaps from right here on the boundary line? But a young player is emerging who is about to share in Eddie's popularity around goals. Charlie Cameron started playing Aussie Rules only five years ago and admits he really didn't like it. After just one season with Swan Districts in the Waffle, he was picked up by the Crows in the 2013 Rookie Draft. I think my season's going good at the moment, um, just got to keep improving. I think we have a couple more games to go. Um, hopefully we can make finals. We're gonna, I think we're going to earn it. So here's Cameron. Tough shot. Oh, Charlie. He's kicked it. Yeah, I started playing uh, rugby league when I was five or six, and yeah, I played it ever since I was 18. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it, and yeah, loved it. I had a uh, rugby league player called Greg Inglis. Um, yeah, he's been my favourite player, I guess, since I started watching rugby league and since he's been on the rugby league, he's been my role model and yeah, I love the way he plays and yeah, good role model for me. Met him in uh, Perth last year, we played Fremantle. Yeah, he was staying in the same hotel and yeah, came up to me and said hello and I said, yeah, hey, how's it going? Didn't want to get a photo, I was too scared, so yeah. Here goes Charlie Cameron, he's got a heap of pace. Does he have the accuracy? Listen to this. Crows back to back. I guess I know how to tackle. Let's just keep backing it up every game. Just don't by applying the pressure and yeah, harassing defenders. Smith ran there, Cameron cleans up for his third. It's there. Charlie Cameron, three goals. Few players are ready for life after football like James Podsy Adley. His business is called Reactivate Group and it assists companies in improving the health and well-being of their employees. And as you will see, Pods is just as comfortable in a business suit as he is in a footy jumper. Skills that will help you cope with stress will then effectively increase... Look, I've been doing um, stuff in the well-being health space um, pretty much my whole adult life. It was before I started playing AFL, I, I did corporate health uh, workshops and and some, um, some fitness session with corporates, but uh, this has evolved sort of from that. What Reactivate Group is, is we create global initiatives that um, try and enhance the wellbeing of corporate employees, community and kids. Um, and it's something that I've been pretty passionate about for a, a, a very long time. We now know that the that workforce, workplaces that invest in their employees are now reaping the benefits, not just economically, but socially. So um, based on that, we want to help employers develop their people and make sure that they, they look after them. Can Douglas finish it? Looks for a long leaking one. Pot on his wrong side. Goes with the left foot slider. Being in this space before I started playing, um, I felt that I couldn't just have footy to focus on. I wanted to focus on something else when I went home. Um, and it's definitely helped me throughout my career. But um, also for other AFL players, I think it's pretty important because um, some AFL careers can come to a sudden halt and I think it's important that other play, that players have um, something they can sort of fall back on. Look at the pot. Classic little elevator. I think some of the, um, the great things that we learn from playing elite sport, um, that we can translate that into the corporate world and into the health and, and wellbeing of employees. So there's no doubt that um, the digital platform we're creating, uh, I hope that um, people see that some of this some elite sporting experience sort of stamped in on it, so it's pretty exciting. Coming up, keeping track of the players, what this little device tells the coaches. 